Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from the Finger Lakes Racetrack here on Monday. It is the 17th of July, 2023. Good luck to the eighth race from Finger Lakes. But before I get on to that, remember to please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Get Five for more selections for race courses around the world. The eighth race from Finger Lakes, it's their feature. It's the New York Derby. It's going for a purse of $150,000. Races four, three year olds here, state breads. Field of seven horses going the distance of ground of 1,700 meters or a mile and 116th on the Finger Lakes main track. I love the six horse here. Maker's Candy is a top selection. Let's go 6427 in the Super Facta. 6427 Super. Top selection six horse. Maker's Candy. This three year old field by Twirling Candy. Mike Maker trains. Jose Ortiz gets the mount. The horse's most recent appearance came the 29th of May at Belmont. Seven furlongs in the Mike Lee. And the horse won by two and a half lengths. Cutting back and trip. Not the world's toughest horses. He was a little bit wide but when he had the turn of foot, he took off clear. A very nice run. You know, I, I thought the cutback was good for him. Going back to two turns today, not the world's deepest race. I think he has the forwardly pace to win and go away with this one today. Two back, we could all agree that he ran against tough horses. That came at Turfway, mile and eighth on the Tapita and the Jeff Ruby Stakes. He finished fifth by 12 lengths that day. You know, he, he moved a little bit late, but I wouldn't call it anything fantastic. The, the horses that finished in front of him were much better horses. Two fills. Went on to run a massive place in the Derby. Went on to win the Ohio Derby quite impressively. It's, it's a shame that he's been retired since then because he looks like he could be one of the best horses of the division. But this horse, you know, and Major Dude, who finished second, is a good turf horse. This horse, he just got beat by classier horses on the day. And then prior to that, in the Gander at Aqueduct, one mile on the 25th of February, he should have won that day. But at the top of the lane, this horse just came stupidly out. Uh, and he, he, he um, got disqualified, placed second. What can you do? It was just a rookie mistake there by the rider. And then 20th of January at Aqueduct, one mile on the main special weight. He won by six and a half lengths from wide post draw. He got sent to the front end. He stalked. He was a little bit wide, but when he took off clear, he put on a show with a quite impressive 90 buyer. He is training well at Saratoga. Three furlong workout, 37 and four. The uh, 16th best 16th best workout, 28. I'm going to use this horse on the ticket. I think he's loaded. You know, small upsetter. I mean, small, small upset setter would be the four horse. Froed me in for um, John DeVilla Jr. and Chris Engelhart. Was a winner at, at Belmont on the soft going seven frongs in the main special weight. Winning by a nearly a dozen. He basically won in a hand ride. A very good ride um, run that day. Prior to that, in late April at Aqueduct, going six in a state bred main special weight. He finished fourth by four and a quarter lengths that day. And I do think the trip was too short. I also don't think he wanted to be on the rail that day. But coming here around two turns, you know, wouldn't surprise me. I'll use him in the pick four. But Maker's Candy is the likeliest winner. But to recount my selections for the 8th from the Finger Lakes, it's the New York Derby. Going to take the 6-horse Maker's Candy. Give kudos to the 4-horse Fruit Me In. 6427 Super, 64 in your multi race. So good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at Horse Racing Kid 5. Good luck, everybody.